Hello everyone, I'm very very sorry to uh, keep you waiting. Welcome to Jamie TV streaming 100% live on YouTube. Nice to see some people in the chat. I'm just going to refresh my YouTube chat here and just see if there are some people here. Wow. Thank you very, very much for joining me. Uh, hello, Paul. Hello, Joe. Hello, fam. Hello, Josh. Hello, Ed. Let's make sure I've not missed anybody who's joined us so far. Thank you very much for being here. I'm really, really sorry to keep you waiting. Um, oh, hang on. Let me just turn my volume down on this phone that I'm using to monitor the chat. Um, Yes, I just revealed the stickers on the back of this phone, which I better explain now. Uh, these are not my stickers. Um, I used an iPhone 8 as my spare phone, and then we discovered that my daughter's phone, which is this iPhone 7 Plus, um, the batteries died. It only really You can only really use it if you leave it plugged in. So I... Um, um, and so I gave her the iPhone 8. So I've just got this 7 sorted out on my accounts and everything so that I can monitor the, the chat on it. And so these are my daughter's stickers. Hello Kitty. Right, so um, today I'm going to record some music. There's not really much of a plan. I do have a few chords that I kind of like that I'm probably going to use. And I'm going to use Rhino. Now, Rhino I have on my, um, I, have, I have Rhino on my, uh, let me just plug that back in. If, it, if I leave the lead out of it for a few minutes, it'll die. Um, I have Rhino on the desktop and, um, and I've also got the beta on the iPad and um, on my iPhone. So let me know in the chat if any of you guys have got um, the Rhino beta and what you think to it. Um, I don't think it can be very far off release because um, it's really, really good. I've not been able to find any particular issue with it. it um, you cannot yet save presets um, inside of a host, I don't think. But uh, otherwise, it seems to be a fully functional working version. So, Ed's using the Rhino Beta. And what do you think to it, Ed? You have one of those iRig Keys keyboards as well. Lovely controller. Yes, it is. I'm going to tell you about that very, very quickly. But I'm not going to say too much about it because I'm going to make a video about it. Basically, um, I have... Where is it? Uh, right, so I had this enormous big... Um, uh, what is it? It's a M Audio key station, an old one, right? And it's enormous, massive, and I, and I love playing on it. The the keys are great, and um, and it, it's wonderful, except for the fact that it takes up my whole desk. And I just found I was really struggling for room a lot of the time, so I thought I'd look at getting something smaller. So first thing I did was I looked on eBay because I didn't have much money at the time because it was you know middle of lockdown and I had no work. So I got this thing, right? I got the first version of the MPK Mini. And the reason I got it was because I got it for under 30 quid with delivery uh, because nobody wants it because it's the first version. But to me, this version is in some ways preferable because it has no joystick on it. And all I want is something that didn't cost me very much that I can throw in a bag and just, you know, when I'm out and about, I can take it with me. And the joystick thing, that worries me. That's going to get broken. At least I'm going to break it. It's stuck on. I know I am. So uh, so I got this. I thought, 30 quid, you know, I uh, can't fault it. And actually, as a controller, take out and about with me. For that money, I'm more than happy with it. But uh, the pads are nice. And it's got nice knobs, right? Um, and it does stuff. It's fine. The keys are a bit horrible. They're a bit like pushing biscuits through treacle. But... Um, but you know, I can live with that. It's it's pretty cool that money. But when I'm using it here in the studio, because I don't want any more than two octaves to take with me in my bag, because my bag's not big enough. But um, but I found that. Um, let me just put this back down here. Hang on. But um, I found that here in the studio, two octaves just wasn't enough, and and I I hated not having 
um, I hated just having two octaves. So I started looking around on eBay again and I found this Irie Keys and nobody wanted it. I got this for 20 quid with delivery and I thought I'd take a chance on it because um, all the stuff I've had from IK Multimedia has been fantastic. And um, and it's it's a very very old model. It came with one of those leads, you know, like like um, i devices used to have, like the big chunky lead, um, which was useless to me. But then I realised it also came with um, a little little small USB thing that goes in the side of the keyboard that's for attaching it to a computer. But because that's going in my USB hub, I can use it on my iPad or my computer. So. Um, and the keys are really nice. It's a really good controller. It's not got a lot in the way of buttons on it But to be honest, I don't really need that because I've got other things with buttons and knobs and twiddly things on right so um, Like I've got this LPD8 over here just out of shot and and I've got that as well if I, if I need some more buttons and knobs and twiddly stuff so this is great and the really awesome thing about it is it just fits in shot. When I have this kind of setup for a stream, it just sits in shot, just nice, okay? So, yeah, so I'm sorry about being uh, late on for the stream. Um, when I came to start the stream, everything was set up. I got everything all ready, you know, went in the house just to get a, a quick drink and go to the loo and have a fag. And I come back in and I went to start it and the whole thing crashed on uh, Streamlabs and I had to restart the device and, and now it seems to be fine. So let's have a look at the chat. Is everything, does everything, Does do, can you hear me okay? Is everything fine? Let me know. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, 20 is a steel lead. Um, I'm, I'm chuffed with it, you know, it's, it's, it's cool. I wouldn't mind trying out the new one though, just to compare it to the new one, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind doing that, that might make a, an interesting video. But I'm going to do a video about cheap tech, not cheap tech, but uh, cheapest chips controllers you can find on eBay. Because when you when you look at the prices of the old models, they're, they're for note. And um, I've got this one as well, I've got this, um, this uh, nano control, which... I can unplug because it's not plugged into anything at the moment. Um, and this I got for cheapest chips as well because there's a newer version, but a lot of people like this version better. So, you know, so I thought it might make an interesting video sometime. Anyway, right, so I'm using Rhino and I'm gonna have a bit of a mess about and see if I can come up with, <laughs> it's a good job you are patient fam. Um, thank you, Josh. Hi, non your buzz. Hey Stephen, thank you for being here. Right, okay, so let's make some music. Um, I'll just open up Rhino so you can so you can see it while I'm piss panting around with it. Oh, doesn't seem to be there. Why is it not there? Did that crash as well? We're having a bit of a disaster. Hang on. Now that's weird because I can hear it, right? Okay, that's interesting. I can hear it. That's definitely my preset. And when I do this, it isn't there. So I don't know what to do because, hmm, interesting. Uh, maybe I should just go to it again and see if it'll open for me so that we can actually see it. It's been shy. I call my preset groovy clean. It's not, it's more, well, hang on. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna close it and um, well, you know, it's live. What can I say? It's, it's proper live. Um, did you all have a nice day? Is everybody well? Um, here we go. Let's just find Rhino again. And... Oh, that's ever so weird. Because it's like... If I just press on another channel or something... Okay, it's okay. It's not showing itself, right? It's not appearing. But and there's me saying it's ready for release. 
it is wonderful though I've made a video all about it I've nearly finished editing it it should be out tomorrow um, and I've done stuff all about the uh, desktop version and the iPad version and the phone version uh, so it's took, it's took me a little while because there's, there's a lot in this video so I don't know what to do anyone got any ideas hey Russ thanks for being here it's a Cubasis thing, Jamie. Yeah, the only thing I can think, you see, is to restart Cubasis. And I don't really want to do that because I'll lose the microphone. Um, I did have a different setup for tonight, actually. I did, um, what I was going to do was put my microphone through my mixing desk, which it, everything's going through the mixing desk and then coming out to the iRig stream, which you can probably just see flashing up here. Um, and because I thought... You know, if I ever crash, I can still speak to you while we're reloading stuff. But um, when I did it, I got a I got a buzz. There was some kind of irritating buzz in the background. I couldn't nail down what it was, so so I reverted to my usual setup of going into one side of the Eric Pro and my guitar in the other side. So um, okay, I'm going to try this one more time, and then after that, I'm not sure what to do because. We're kind of hearing it, not seeing it, and it were Ah, there we are. It's putting an appearance. I could do with one of those things that Jay does for sound effects, you know. I could press, like, massive round of applause button or something. Um, groovy clean. Okay, so here's a preset that um, I was pissy-panting around with. And... Uh, and I've got these chords, right? So let me just play these chords. Um, I was, I put the tempo up in Cubasis to 122 because I was playing it at 120, you know, cause it's like the default, default tempo. And, um, and I realized I was at 120 and I kind of liked it at that pace, but then I thought, well, I can't just use 120, you know? <laughs> I feel like I have to change it a bit. So I made it 122 and felt a lot better about it. So, um, hi, Peanut. Thanks for being here. Jamie, will you be adding presets on the release version? Well, they haven't asked me to. Um, but I will have some presets and I will be sharing them at my Patreon account. Like I do with presets that I make for lots of things. And in fact, actually, I've got some more to upload as well okay so um right so so this is my sound right now i'm not going to give you some massive walkthrough of, of rhino today because my video is coming out with all that stuff in it tonight i'm just going to i'm just going to use it right so you get to hear it um and one of the things i really wanted you to know about rhino is that the way that it's presented, you know, the way the graphics are and um, the videos other people have made about it and stuff, it might appear like it's, you know, um, a sort of more extreme metal kind of amp. And in actual fact, you can get tones out of it for all kinds of music. It's absolutely incredible. Um, but it was the same with Mammoth. I mean, you could get a nice clean tone out of Mammoth for bass, but uh, it was presented like it was um, sort of like, you know, the death metal bass machine. So anyway, so let me just um, play my chords. Let me know if you think they suck. Um, I'm going to need a metronome, I think, for a minute. And then, there we are. that's what I've got right I've got sort of two chord progressions and um, only one of the chords is outside of the of the key and I think we'll get away with it because I didn't want to include this horrible um, diminished chord so I amended it to a minor seven I think it'll be all right so I'm going to 
record that unless anyone thinks it sucks horribly I'm just going to record the first section I've got sort of an idea about um, a way that I could use apps that I'm going to need to freeze in a live stream uh, and it not sort of end up like we're all just sat here waiting for it to do it so well, let me see if let's see if my idea works I'm just going to record the first section uh, I'll just close out my mic while I do a few bits Arm record, Jamie, you stupid hippie. Step and listen to that. All right, it's not perfect, but it's live. Let's just um, just chop that down a little bit, chop that end bit off there, and let's just put a little fade at the end, and then uh, see is the beginning overlap. Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm going to leave this bit as it is for the moment and um, now let's let's record the other section see if anyone can figure out how I'm thinking of doing this before I get there uh, how's this one go again yeah yeah Okay, right, I think that was all right. Let's just have a quick listen to that one. Okay, I sort of had this thought that normally I kind of have a guitar part idea um, or you know apart for something on some instrument I have like a rhythm idea and um, and then I do something with with some percussion or drums or whatever to um, give me something to play to and I thought you know what, I'm gonna start with with the guitar part uh, and just play the rhythm how I feel and we'll put the percussion to that just you know change it up a bit you know just to kind of lively my life up um, let's just switch off snap to grid drag that up a little bit put a little fade at the end there. right put snap to grid back on and we'll leave that front tail front tail sounds a bit rude um, okay now I'm gonna put the guitar down for a moment carefully because I really like that one okay right then um, what are we saying uh, okay nobody hates the chord progression or at least they're not saying so so far so um, what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to freeze this So just bear with me a little moment. Shouldn't take long. <laughs> okay, it didn't take long. Okay, let's have a listen to it, make sure it sounds okay. Next bit. All right, okay. 
okay I don't think that's too terrible so at the moment I don't need Rhino anymore so I'm gonna just delete that track okay um, one thing I dislike about Cubasis 3 and I do think that Cubasis 3 is really rather good now um, but I really really wish I could have a mono you know I really wish I could make this be mono I mean I don't want that to be a stereo thing you know anyway that's just my regular moan um, I'm gonna open ting I fancy having some finger clicks and claps I want to make something happy um, let's let's make a happy tune um, now what I'm gonna do this is my idea right I'm going to chop these and um, then I'm going to there right Just chop that to there and then let's lose the end off of that one right okay and now I'm going to arrange these parts so let's we'll move this one further over here and I want to copy that one we'll double up that progression let's just make sure that connects up all right paste that there and then I'm just gonna put this in here let's see if that overlaps okay <laughs> sound right in the mix we're just making a, a quick little bit of music for a, a YouTube show here we're not like you know trying to write the greatest piece of music ever although you never know it might turn out to be you never know uh... right now YouTube short is um, one minute so how many seconds have we got here um uh, what what's that come to right okay so uh, if i copy that one time and put that over here and then bring this um, to yeah that's right okay and um, so now let me just put this over here right okay so we'll double that up at the end then and then we should have approach in a minute yeah okay so it's going to be um it's going to be about 53 seconds which is fine because it's got to fit within the minute and i use have a little uh, sign off piece of music at the end so um let's open ting hi gerald thanks for being here buddy bless you okay uh ting Add MIDI channel now. Ting is percussion, so that has to be red because that's how. Oh, oh, that's how I do things. On select red, okay, and we'll go and grab ting. There we are. Right. Okay. Now, if I arm this track. I should have these 12 percussiony sounds that are made with if you if you're not familiar with thing are made with sort of around the house kind of sounds I should have them yes we we have them on this take the master down a little on there on this keyboard so we've got them C through to B we've got a sofa slap stick on the edge of the table uh, I'm actually not sure what that even says it's a it's a thingy tell me in the chat if anyone knows what it actually is <laughs> finger snap that's the thing I really like I love this finger snap and I've already used this in quite a few tracks 
a hand clap, which is also very nice, pot, paper scratch, toy drum, car keys, silverware, we call it cutlery in our house, a big box, and a floor stop. I'm not sure I'm going to go on for maybe a kick sound here, but the uh, I want the finger snap and the clap. So, um, so what keys are they on? Right, hand claps on E. So finger snap, right, that's on D sharp. And maybe the, that's a bit flabby. Floor stomp has potential for a bit of a kick sound maybe. Right, let's just um, put this on and see if we can come up with a groove. Okay, bit of a mess, but you know, I'm working with that metronome because um, I forgot to put it on because I'm a right clever hippie. Um, I'm just, I'm just going to record a bit of that. Let's just let's just see if it doesn't suck massively. I forgot what keys are on. Uh, I forgot how to play it as well. Never mind. Press the wrong key. Uh, raise that rubbish. That one. That one is stupid hippie. That one. Right, okay. And I'm just going to play that back. Right, before I go any further, I just want to see if I can do anything with the, um, with that stomp sound uh, to make it sound a bit more kick-like. Let's, um, I'll tell you what, see what my playing is like, it's actually not terrible. We'll quantize it though. Uh, See if that's not made it worse. Oops, where are we? I didn't make it loop right, did I? I didn't, I didn't make it loop at all. Forgot the bit. Come on, come on, you know you want to, there we are. Right, um. Okay, let's just pissy pants around for a little while. All right, let's have a look at that. Right. I think I'm probably just going to use like that. Although I think that's going to fit pretty much all the way through. I may just use that one thing. I may just do like one bar of percussion and just use it. Um... I think I will. Right, so what can we do with that? Sorry, I just, I just realized that's, I just realized that's a bit loud, sorry. Right, I'm just going to mute out the guitar. I just realised that was peaking. I'm very sorry about that. There you go. We're not arguing about cowbells, are we again? Right, now this floor stump. In, um, in Ting, if I press on the uh, sample, because it's a sample-based app, right? Um, oh, I remembered which key it was my god right then i can adjust certain things let's see what i can do let's take the reverb off i never put reverb on kicks anyway 
well, very seldom. Maybe pitch it up slightly. Ever so slightly. Right, dynamics. Room. Right, if I take that nearly down to the bottom, now it's much more kick like. Okay, okay, right. And what about the other sounds? Uh, I'm not even using that one. Why am I pressing that one? Finger snap. Let's try changing the reverb a little. Um, wait a minute. Let's change room first. No. Hmm. Hmm. Change the reverb then. Ooh. No. Hmm. I like that one. Okay. Right, let's have a look at these sounds here. Pan that across. And then the uh, finger snap. I love how that sounds. I'm just going to stick a little more reverb on it. Marvelous. Okay. Oh, I forgot to pan it. Okay. Right, now then, hang on, is there anywhere in my track where I need a variation? There, right, okay, I'm going to need a different one there, so let's copy that, bring that across here. Right, and I think that's like let's put four claps on there, right? So we'll just uh, let's drag these. Actually, I could put a kick on the last one. What's that like? Yeah, I'm going to use that. Right. Okay, so now I'm going to freeze. Ting. Cross your fingers. Right then. Um, let's just have a listen to those bits then. Alright, okay. The kick might be a bit loud, but you know. Uh, maybe not, I'm not sure. Hard to tell and you know, there's not time to piss your pants around too much with little details. In a kind of, let's make a track real quick type stream like this, so. Right, I get rid of ting. And now what we'll do is 
Hmm, now then. Should I leave it? Let me just solo it. Now don't solo it and lose my mic. I've muted the guitar anyway. What are you doing? Right. Thought. Chop that there. Oh. Just undo that. Right. We'll chop it instead of... Hmm. Lose that. Right. Copy this. Put it there. Let the audio overhang, I think. Right. Why does it do that? Not sure that's selected all of them actually. There. Hmm, that's annoying. Take some time. Hang on, I'll just rescue that one at the end there. Uh, uh, right. Something's wrong there, I think. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Um, and then pull this one out of the way I think oh hang on right copy th copy that and then is it next one yes okay now drag this one back have a closer look at that Okay. Right. I'll do this in a lazy way, I think. Just select a load of them. Did I copy that? I'm not sure if I touched it. Bring that up there, paste it in. Then come on. Drag it over. take this one off the end here and okay and that'll do us right we've got a bit of percussion and I think we need some bass guitar so I'm going to add a track here and oh put that like carefully out of the way and what we like for lovely C 
seems okay. idea how that could go so um, I'm conscious of time I'm just gonna have a go for this I'm just gonna have a go for this I'm gonna shut my mic and just see if I can get this bass down I'm gonna need um, I've stopped using pre-count because it cuts off the beginning of my audio if you play slightly before the beginning of the bar it cuts it off and you know, quite often with a stringed instrument, you you do that. It's you know, it's like a a slide or a dragged chord, you know. So um, I'm just going to copy one more of these, I think. Put it in front, and then that'll serve as my count. Right. I've got an idea. Let's go for it. Okay, I've got it now. I've got it now. Bit of a fail, but I think I've got it now. No, not quite, not quite. Okay, I'm gonna to have to practice that bit. That's just. Yeah, okay. Okay, I think that was all right. Let's see what we can play on the next bit. Do that bit. I've forgotten it.
okay I think that was okay and now for the last part if I had a bit more time I'd probably do it the variation but as it is um, I'm just going to record it I'm just going to record it as we played it before if I can remember sounds like a Motown kind of a maybe a soul track or something Okay, so conscious of running out of time a bit, I'm uh, probably going to stick with what we have there. Um, it's not perfect, but I think it'll do. Um, I presume that Doug is streaming this evening, <laughs> because if he's not, I might continue a little bit. But if he is, um, I'm, I am going to wrap it up. I'm going to wrap it up in 10 minutes oh my god uh okay so we're not gonna have any keys so i was thinking about a shaker but i don't think we have time for shaker so maybe it's russ premier russ's album premier oh in that case i will wrap up for eight o'clock uh, i don't want to be disrespectful so let me just unarm this track so i can Unplug my bass and just carefully put that over there. Where's your roadie when you need them? Uh, see, look at that, right? That's mono, right? That's what a stringed instrument should record like. This, what is this? Right, okay. So now I think what we'll do is we'll go back to Rhino. So um, I'll add another track and uh, what am I doing here? Let's just try that again, shall we? Right. Open. Yes. Okay. I want to start off with the preset that I had before. Arm the track, stupid AP. There. Okay, now what we'll do, I'm going to go to my neck pickup, I think. Sounds nice already. We're talking about playing, just talking about the sound. Right, and let's just go maybe and change a couple of things to make it a bit more leady. Um, I like that. I like that. Okay. Maybe I'll just turn the reverb off so you can hear how nice this chorus is. Lovely. Uh, maybe add a little delay. But not that much.
Too loud. Too loud. Ah. Okay, right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, play this track, have a little twiddle over the top of it, and that will be yours, I think. Put a snap to bar on so that I can put it like a loop. And then put that there and check the time. Okay. No, you don't have to worry none. Um, I, uh, I would not wish to ever overlap with um, with Doug, especially since as it's uh, Russ's thing. So, um, I'm just going to have a little twiddle on this, and then I'll close up my mic while I do it, and then I'll pretend to say see you. My apologies, I just realised that's that's quite loud. Just knock that back a bit. Didn't have time to uh, to mix it or anything. I forgot to press loop, honestly. And I forgot to close my mic. Can you believe it? Anyway, right. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm, uh, I'm going to finish up for now. And I might just um, record a little lead on this and then put it out as a YouTube one minute short. So thank you ever so much for... Uh, for joining me this evening. I'm sorry that I've not uh, been too involved in the in the chat. It's just when you're trying to get a piece of music done in a, in a in a very short space of time, it's kind of uh, it's kind of difficult to follow all the chat. Oh, hi Gary. Sorry that I missed you, dude. Right. So, uh, right, let's just check out what Samuel's saying. Hi Samuel, because Samuel always has something interesting to tell us. There's a nice thread over at Steinberg Cubasis forum on how badly Cubasis handles files. It leaves a lot of crap behind when editing and no cleanup features. Right. Okay. Thanks very much, Samuel. I will check that out. So thanks very much for joining me. Thanks for being here. I really, really appreciate it. I um, will be putting out my video about, I nearly said mammoth, about Rhino. Most likely it will come out tomorrow. So look out for that. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, then please do give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And I will see you all in Doug's stream. See you later. Bye-bye. Premiere thing. <laughs>